Welcome to Florida. We're Chris and Tabitha Blue taking on a home renovation with our four kids. From the front door through the backyard, no space in this home will be left untouched. We've always wanted a place to settle into, a place that we can call home. Now's our chance to make this house our, our home. home. <laughs> you won't believe all the little things in just one home reno. So come join us. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode. Um, actually, as you can see, it's just me, Chris. Uh, my wife's out of town, which actually makes me even more excited because this is our master bath renovation, one of the last rooms in the house that we're going to be doing. And uh, she's out of town for two weeks, so I get to actually renovate most of it, if not all of it, before she comes home. And so she's going to get a good surprise look hopefully on her face. Um, but we partnered with Lowe's to bring uh, our, our dream master bathroom together. But first, coffee, and then we can start. some tile we actually looked behind me we're getting some headway done we're on our second out of three walls we're doing really good uh, tiles coming together awesome we uh, just got the mastic on the wall which if, for a tip mastic works way better uh, when you're doing tile and he's the most especially these big tiles they stick really well um, so I'm excited to have the made at home uh, didn't quite get done as you can tell before she got home but uh, we're, we're making some headway and uh, 
next on is hopefully we're going to put the shower door on and then it comes to the floor and, and next thing you know we're taking showers in our new master bathroom so i'm gonna go put this tile up Shiplap? Yeah. yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can it. But I think, yeah, uh, yeah I mean, I think it'd look cool all the way up that high ceiling. Yeah. We can it could look cool. It wouldn't take one. much more work to do it and we wouldn't have to mm -hmm. mud. I mean, it ends here, so you don't have to worry about the end. The same yeah, with that just wall. a small cut around. Pick it up. I think it'll look cool. It's yeah. doable. Place all yeah. that stuff. It's doable. Right. Now's the time to decide, that's for sure. Yeah. Hey, it 
it is about that time. Um, let's see what kind of progress we got up to here. Hey. Good morning. Looks good. Just trying to clean up the window, got it all in. Yes, it turned out so well. Everything looks good. I'm loving the finishes too. And I think I have another project. Is that right? Do you remember these little guys you made me? I do. Well, what I'm thinking is. Want them over there? Yeah. I'm thinking I want them over here, but I'm also thinking that we need another. One more? Like, everything's better in threes. Okay. So we could do something like this, but then another triangle we would just maybe do upside down, but, but a little bit larger. Mm. Like up here, yeah. a bigger one, and then one, and then two, three, kind of like that. Maybe we want to mark those real quick. Because then we can put some of our oils. Oops. Well, that'll look good. Oils in there, like a little plant on the end. Um, so we'll a little bit of design. Break up yeah, break up. Because yeah. obviously we like white, but we have a lot of white. <laughs> oh, I love how it turned out. The ship lab looks so good. Yeah. I agree. Sure, I'll really good. It's coming along. Just a few finishing touches. Now it's my turn to um, add in all the little That's details. Right. All the fun stuff. So I just have to be patient and figure out where it all is. And build me a shelf. All right. <laughs> Time to have some more fun. <laughs> we got our triangle. <laughs> Rock and roll. Rough shape. I'm cutting the two pieces in the middle right now. You can paint it and do whatever you want. So shelf here, and another one up top. Nice. What's it like? Too big? Well, maybe not too big, but maybe we will move. Maybe we'll reverse it all. This. So no, up on that side, so it's not by the light. Oh, right, something like that. And then, like this. So we kind of yeah. kind of just changed it all around, and then marked good things pencil. So I'd still bring it in a little. Yeah. I think so. Basically, they have a couple shelves. Yeah. All right, baby. Ready? I uh, made some art for the bathroom. I don't Ooh. know what you think. So one says, wash your cares away. <laughs> and one says, let's get naked. Uh, but I just liked these. We already had the black frames. And I thought these could look cool up here above the hooks. Yeah. Um, it's an RCJ hanging for me. All right, let's do it. This is my favorite part of any makeover. I don't know why he's laughing. Because it's the end. Because it's the end. <laughs> it's done. Really we are excited because, yes, <laughs> that means that the project is finished and also all the dreams, all the stuff we saw, like, yeah. worked through. Um, and then all the extra stuff I threw at this bearded guy over here. Well, I'm, still I'm, made it happen. I will say, though, you amaze me every time we do a room. So every time it gets done, I'm like, it looks exactly like you put it on the board. So. <laughs> So even with me doing all of it. Hey. So if we want to show them, should Let's we do, do like it. this official, should I do like a carry you across the threshold kind of thing? Because it's like, you know, I'm very celebratory. Or should no. I just piggy bank or just... Let's just walk should in. I just walk in? Let's just walk in. Okay. Let's see it. Come on. <laughs> For this space, we really wanted something that was pretty open, bright, and airy, but also gave us a little bit of that contrast for example the floor with the graphic print we have the light tile with the dark tile and then the black framed shower door um, so a lot of contrast but just really makes it a serene space bright and airy but you have that really good mix of masculine and feminine the fun geometric shelves turned out so great we ended up just leaving them raw wood um, and then just filled them with some natural elements, so some greenery to bring that in, and then a place to put, of course, my oils and little photos or knickknacks. So, I'm not usually a knickknack type of person, but I really do like how that brought a little bit of our own personality to such an open space. We also used a lot of mixed metals. I was super bent on the brass, gold coloring. And then of course we went with some of the iron that we've used throughout the house, which worked really well with, for example, the black colors. And then of course there's copper. So lots of different colors. Chris was super excited about the copper shower. 
Um, so it just really made kind of a vast variety of metals, but they still all play well together. So on our countertops, I brought in some copper lidded jars as well as copper candle to bring the copper elements from the shower. But that shower also has iron elements in it, which work well with the handles on the vanity. And then the lighting and the mirrors have the iron and also some of the brass. So it all plays off each other and plays well with all, without all being so matchy matchy. The vanity that we found at Lowe's works out perfectly in the space. We had measured ahead of time and it actually took us a while we were searching for one that fit in perfectly. We wanted the most space that we could get between the wall and the toilet. This one works so well and it, and it works out well for us being a dual vanity. But I also liked this light marble countertop and I wanted to carry that throughout a little bit, which is why we went with that Calcutta stone in the shower. Um, just kind of brings those elements together and looks quite pre-planned. <laughs> Along with the greenery and those natural elements, Chris had an idea to bring River Rock into the shower floor and we both really like how it turned out. We went with the dark color because it brings out the dark of the tile and just that contrast that we were going for along with the dark grout and then ended up creating a shelf in the shower wall itself and bringing that up as well using it as the background of the shelf. I just love how it turned out. I went back and forth on window treatments for a while. We decided to remove the window treatments that were there before, the blinds, because the window is already frosted, so you can't see through it. It has an element of privacy. Also, it's a fenced side of the yard that no one's in, so I feel like confident that it's good enough privacy-wise, but I liked how open it felt without having any window treatments on the window itself. And even just using the marble ledge as a place for some more plants, and I think it just made it open and brighter, and I'm good without having it covered. And I'm so excited with how our prints turned out hanging on the wall. They're fun, they're quippy, and they are available on our site, freshmommyblog.com shop. You can get those prints for your own bathroom space, but I just think how, I like how it brought a little element of fun to the space. But also with the black and white, it stays in that graphic zone. Okay, what was your favorite thing to work on in here? To work on? Yeah. How it turned out or actually working on it? I don't know, Just, either way. I don't really enjoy all the work. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's so, your favorite part? Honestly, the ship lab goes up really easy and I'm in love with using it everywhere. So um, it, it covers well if you're dealing with a remod. Um, mm -hmm. You don't have to worry. If you're dealing with new walls, you don't have to worry about it as much. But when we were dealing with tearing out old stuff, if there's unevenness and anything repaired. That's true, plus it just was a lot of like the mirror that was there previously was all glued on, so yep. I mean there was a lot that had yep. to be repaired yep. on the wall. So it makes the process a little quicker and it actually looks really great once you finish it off too, so I think makes um, sense, yeah. that's one of my favorite Sad things. Is that in the <laughs> I never thought I would say that come out of his mouth. I actually really like the shower door, I have to say. This mm -hmm. um, Dreamline door from Lowe's was something that was on my radar for a long time yeah, before we even started. Um, so I just knew that that was gonna be something that was in here and I love it just as much as I thought it would. Well, I mean, it's a really cool way that we brought in the uh, Calcutta stone and the marble, which gives it a really a good finished look. Mm -hmm. I think it does feel like you walk into a really surreal and serene place to, to begin having a shower. Yes. So. I hear the doorbell ringing. I do. <laughs> so, Check it out. Thank you so much again to Lowe's for sponsoring this video. It's been an incredible process. We found everything we needed there so easy. The process was easy yep. of getting it all, and it looks incredible. So you can make a really stylish space, whether you're doing little bits, just shiplap and paint, or you're doing an entire remodel that we did. Um, you can get it done with Lowe's. So thank you again, Lowe's. We love this one. If you guys have questions for us, leave it in the comments. We would love to answer your questions, help work out some of the stuff that maybe you're going through. And thanks for joining us this time. We'll see you next time. See you later. Thanks so much for joining us. Make sure to like. And subscribe. We'll see you next time. Gotta go.